Hey everybody, this is, uh, you know, Hatmaster recording a Yemoja video, and I'm actually gonna buy this, uh, legendary skin, because I'm finally mastering five. Uh, we're against a Kronos, which, uh, I haven't really played this matchup. I'd say it's probably okay if I were to guess. I need to learn to start banning Koyi as Yemoja. Every time I fight that, play that, it's either extremely difficult to win with, or, uh, I just get annihilated because Hoyi's escape is so good. So... Part of me wanted to ban Ho Yi, other part of me wanted to fight him to learn how to play against him better. But uh, we are going to start with tier 2 Bancrofts and 2... Well, is that what I want to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want to do. Tier 2 Bancrofts, some health potions, and we are going to get a... A Beats. Beats is good against Kronos because if you Beats his 3, then, you know, he can't... Uh, he can't hit you with his 1 and, you know, you mitigate a lot of damage by avoiding those. But, if you notice my my graphics, I, I had to lower a little bit. Uh, this patch, I just got back from vacation. And thank you all for the support while I was gone. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You guys, the support that I got on the videos while I was gone was amazing. Thank you. But uh, I had to lower my, uh, I had to lower my uh, graphics because, for some reason, this patch is so laggy. Like, if I turn a lot... It'll lag. Actually, it's not lagging now, which is great. But it was lagging really bad earlier when I was streaming. It's probably because I was streaming, but right now it's it's running super smooth, so I'm about it. But it was really bad while I was streaming. I'm not gonna beat that. That's a waste. We just got half his health for not even trying. Pretty good. He has a lot of potions though. I've been seeing people do this uh, lately: health potions with uh, multi potions. I don't know. Uh, I don't know who made that popular, but I've been seeing it multi potions a lot more than I used to. It's good because you can like th stack them, so you get the healing faster. So it's not—it's not that it's bad. It's just I—it was not popular. But anyways, Emoji is a very good guardian. Her bug is fixed. There was a bug where if you died, you would lose maximum Omi, and that made her worse than she was because not having the correct amount of max Omi, you know, is really bad. But now she has the correct amount, so she's doing a lot better. Um, I don't know if she's the best. Oh, oh, never mind. I don't know if she's the best guardian in duel, but she's definitely up there. One of my favorites, man. I love this guardian to death. She's so fun, especially now that her bug is fixed. Do I dare for go for the alt? Yeah, I'm gonna go for it because he doesn't have his alt yet. Nice. That is such a good place to kill people. Is ne uh, by the tower. Because if they don't have the escape, they're they're guaranteed to get hit by everything. That's why I do feel like Phantom is so good against Emoja, but also Aegis. Aegis, Phantom, and Sprint are all good relics against her. Sprint because it becomes hard for her to hit abilities. Uh, Phantom to get out of her combo with her ult, and Aegis to not get killed by the combo. You know, use at the end of the ult, and if she hits something, it doesn't matter. This matchup becomes harder in the late game because he can just ult my ult. But even then, I should be okay as long as I'm not wasting my abilities too much. Right now, we don't have any Omi regen, so um, this is our weakest part of the game. Okay, he missed. That's good. I don't know what it is about Kronos players, but they they miss their three a lot. Hence why Beads is so strong against them. Because you Beads that the one three they hit. Like, they have to be, like, right next to you to guarantee it, you know? Because it's such a solo ability. Can I guarantee this? I don't need to use my one. Okay. Cool. Good stuff. But, yeah, uh, I am going to reiterate this again. You guys, I w you know, I went on break for uh, 10 days. And that was the longest I've taken break from Twitch and YouTube. Um, and I was really worried about... You know, being away because I haven't taken that break before. And, you know, it is... I do do Twitch and YouTube full-time along with college. And, uh, yeah, so the support I got on those videos was great. You know, I, I read all the comments. They were gr they were great, really encouraging. So I'm going to do more of these. Obviously, I want to edit videos, too, for the people that love those. But I have to actually get the right games to do those. As I can't exactly edit every game I get. Ooh, you are getting a lot of movement speed, my friend. The tide calls. Yemoja video will come for sure eventually. 
Like, she is just way too fun to not make a proper edited video. I'll probably make a montage on her, but right now the montages are on hold for a little bit. Because I just, you know, released Guard Guardian's Duel, and I want that to be my last montage for quite a while. Um, I was looking into making a best clips of 2019 from my stream for YouTube, but I don't know if I actually had enough clips to make one. Plus, it's already, like, almost mid-January. Mid I mean, it would be fine. But just know that might happen. It depends. If it doesn't come out, just assume I didn't have enough clips and I'll make it into a different Twitch Clips video. All right, let's do this. Uh, let's get Genji's. Fun fact about Genji's and Crow's Pendant is it does work with Yomoja. It gives her uh, her extra Omi. And I always mean to mention this at the beginning of every Yomoja video just simply because... Uh, it always gets asked every time I play it, but I do not get the two in duel. I don't prioritize it. And the reason being is it costs three Omi, and the one is just better in duel. I don't have any teammates to heal, so I can't heal. Uh, it's not good unless they have, like, shell, and he does not have shell. And, oh, that was weird. I don't know if you saw my one there. It glitched out a little bit. Uh, that was weird. Or maybe it didn't. I don't know. But either way, uh, with Yomoja's two... It's not really worth it in duel, even late game when you haven't maxed. It's like, why spend three Omi on an ability that doesn't do much, when you spend two Omi on a stun or a slow that will do it more damage anyways. The two is easier to confirm, so if they're low health, I guess you could do that, but still. I stun the tower here, get a little bit of damage on it. Now, let's force his ult. He has nowhere to go, he has to ult. Yep. Oh, is he gonna still stay in it? Oh my god, you absolute legend! <laughs> you absolute legend! My name's Anuki, and this is Smite's top five plays. You love to see it. All right, let's go steal his blue buff. Yeah, for the past, like, eight videos or so I've uploaded, I do have a tier list in the description. You guys can give me feedback on that. Uh, like I said, I, rec I recorded a whole thing for that video, an explanation about, you know, a couple... A good amount of an explanation for every single god that I placed, and the recording didn't exactly work, so I can't even use that. He got stunned, so I didn't have to beat. Can I do this? No. <laughs> I thought that would be maybe something I could work. Uh, tower's dead, anyways. There's no way it lives. Yep. Okay, let's go this. Also, uh, on a different note, Link. Link is so good on Emoja. On a different note, I have been going auto attack emoji more often, and it actually does seem really good. The The point of it is I'm realizing the entire point of auto attack emoji is to auto attack until you have them in a position to use your Omi. Because against a lot of gods, they're waiting... Oh, we can pick this up. They are waiting for you to use your Omi so that they can counter it with an leap or by juking it or whatever. But if you're just throwing out autos that are kind of meaty, then they can't really wait on it. And you get to counter them most of the time. Like if they jump on you or if they waste an escape, then you just do that. And if they're not, then you just keep auto-attacking them. So it does have more merit than I initially had thought. Would I go every game? No. But against gods with escapes or gods that can deal with my abilities, yeah, it has some merit. A lot of people have been asking me about the changes to Season 6, how I feel about it. I feel optimistic I really just want to see how they work in duel myself before I put any judgments, you know? That's how I feel about it. Bloop. 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 Oh. We're, the plan right now is to go for red buff and then go for uh, bull demon once I get some, uh, some wards. That's a plan as of right now. Oh, uh, you're missing a lot of abilities. Now, here's the question. Is he missing a lot of abilities, or am I juking them, huh? I don't know. I don't know. Nice. Yeah, that's back. Uh, I guess getting red buff now wasn't that smart, because I can't pick it up, but... Oh, well. Uh, do I want to go out of tech? Let's go, let's go Divine Rune, how about that? To deal with his Bancrofts. Divine Rune's a good item, it has good stats. Oh wait, I need Ward, 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 Ward. 
Taking bull doom without a warden and it'll get stolen. The tide calls. Wait, say it. Say it! She's not gonna say it. The fact that without getting a starting relic, uh, you can place wards for free in Season 7 or whatever will be pretty awesome. So, that's something to look forward to. I cannot find you. My 2 is good range. It's just... It's like it just doesn't do that much damage, you know? I could barely do anything there. Whereas, look at my 1. You know? My 1 is so much more damage. It's cheaper. Well, to be fair, my, my 2 is level 1. I forgot about that. Oops. Whereas, my 1 is maxed. But still, it's like, you know, the bubble does more. Let's wait for Omi and then we can just dump everything on Bull Demon. Obviously, we need to take this wave, though. Otherwise, he'll take our tower, which we do not want. Okay, just nuke him. Okay, he ulted. Get him with our ult. Stun him at the edge. Dump him with everything. Catch him off guard with this. Oh, good juke. I still got you, though. Unless I'm dumb. Nice. He's dead for 20 seconds. We can take uh, Phoenix. So my favorite thing about Emoji is I can use my three to make them go faster, but... No, no, I can't. <laughs> I don't have the mana. I don't have Grow to spin it. Never mind. If I had Grow to spin it, I would have been able to. Uh, let's hit the archers and the tower, or the phoenix. Are my minions out of range? Whoops. Maybe I should have gone for Bull Demon. I didn't have my ult, though. I am level 15. It is very important we don't die to him. Because if we die to him, he gets back in this game. So I think that's my priority right now, is don't die to him. We don't want to trade, we don't want to dive, because in duel, as of currently, that is just not worth it. The return kill is worth way too much. You can get bull demon, I mean get red buff maybe. Ah, I feel so good to have 10 Omi. So many Yamoja games I had, I didn't have 10 Omi because of the bug. 10 Omi is great. You can do so much with 10 Omi. Right. Looks like he didn't want to take this. We will take this just to make sure that he doesn't, so. Even though I can't pick it up. I might still get a poly. If I get poly, maybe I could go go a cheeky build and get a Typhons. Or however you say it. Alright, let's go this way. Ooh, I'm four levels ahead of this guy. Pretty good. My ward's about to run out. Maybe I can just bait him here. Oh, he's going for this. Stop it. That works for me. I need more wards. Yamoja's not great at taking Bull Demon. Like, she can take it pretty okay, but... she's That's not her specialty, so... Also, let's not use our three out of fountain here. Sometimes, it, like I use it sometimes, it depends, but a lot of times you don't want to use your three because you want max only when you get back in lane. Like I have max only perfectly right now, so that's perfect. Obviously, I still need Chronos Pennant because max cooldown is amazing on your mojo, but whatever. I could have placed that ward farther, whatever. All right, let's do this. Let's see how much we can do. I hate that you have to look up for Bull Demon. I'm pretty sure they plan on changing that, but as of right now, you have to look up. Okay, we're going to ult, and we're going to basically nuke it with our Omi regen. Okay, nuke it, 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 nuke it. There we go. Here's my one, like, a hundred million times there. The tide calls. I like this this skin. I like. I really want the diamond one. I'll get it pretty soon. I'm, I'm playing Emojo way too much to not get it. 
ult eats at. We don't want to ult until his ult's down, or unless we know he's not going to benefit from his ult. Like, if he won't heal that much, then that would be fine. There's his beads. Oh, that's unfortunate. However, because minions came into range, uh, backdoor protections are now gone, and they will stay gone as long as I stay in Phoenix range. So as long as I don't walk out of this, we're good. Oh. No, we're fine. Now, if we wanted to, we could just straight up alt Titan, but I'm not about that. I mean, I might be. <laughs> I might, it's Grotos, but I don't know. It's tempting. But let's try to kill him one more time. Ooh, good jukes. Okay, let's back and get uh, Chrono Spin it. Oh, we can get Red Buff first, though. Ooh. You mojo with Red Buff? Yes, please. Look at. Keep in mind about how fast I'm getting Omi now, and then you can compare it to how fast they get Omi with Chrono Spinet. It's crazy. Chrono Spinet gives you Omi so fast. Oh, Alright, and then. Yeah, I'll go into a Typhoons, why not? It's fun. Look how fast I'm getting Omi now, it's so much faster. And then notice when the Chrono Spinet uh, passive kicks in as well. Gives like an entire Omi. It's pretty nice. Or like half an Omi. It's nice because it helps you when you have your... Uh, when you have your cooldowns. When you don't have your cooldowns. Like on other gods, if your cooldowns are ready, then Chrono Spender is not going to help with that. Except for like your ultimate probably. But with your Mojo, it's helping as long as you don't have max Omi. But you almost never have max Omi. If I stun him here, that's great. He's going to have to ult this. He's dead. Wow. I thought I would have to ult, but I guess not. Come on, gamers. Get over here. Remember the tide calls. Yeah, how fast can we move this? The ultimate gives so much Omi regen. My lord. GG. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember that Yamoja is one of the funnest guardians in the game, and she's viable in duel. Uh, yeah, she's she's fun. Uh, I recommend banning Ho Yi. If anyone plays Yamoja a lot and you have some like must tips for Ho Yi, let me know. Cause the best I got is try to bait his escape and then ult him. But if the Ho Yi's smart and doesn't use his escape that much, then you have to waste Omi. And then once he finally leaps, you don't have enough Omi to do anything. So that's that's a problem. Next reward? What? Oh, that's Battle Pass. All right, let's show the stats. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support. And you guys are amazing. And I'll see you guys next time.